All right, guys, so I got a little bit more of an advanced uh, tutorial for you this time. I'm going to show you how to get around that names uh, restriction we have using hex editing. Now, we don't have a tool for this. Um, this will be editable in the Redditor when it comes out, but it doesn't look like we're going to have anything other than hex editing until the Redditor comes out. So what we get when 2K op um, updates its rosters, in the online data downloads, we get this roster file right here. And this contains, um, when you go to Options, Reset Roster, this is what updates um, the, the um, default roster that the game uses. So I have it set up to run through the decompressor if I double click an if file, which, there we go. So we can open up the desktop roster file, we can unzip, no <laughs> we can't, okay. Um, I, I swear that worked before. So let's just open up the mod tool, use something that actually works that we know for fat. Uh, I'll go to the desktop, go to the roster file, we can decompress it. There we go, this, nothing's going to show up there. So now we have the backup file that the mod tool creates, and we have the roster file that we, that's uncompressed that we can edit. If you go to the hex editor here, there's nothing for here, us for, to edit here. It, it's useless. However, if we open it up in this, much bigger file, a lot more data, but if you go down to here, we have the bank of names. That if you remember, if you did any hex editing last year, we can change all of these. And as you can see, just from this section right here, I'm in the arena section. So we have American Airlines Arena, or the Heat Arena. Um, S010 is the uh, stadium file it uses. And thankfully, oh, I love 2K for doing this. We have the floor file listed right there. We don't. It's not a... Um, a value you have to try to find its actual name. So if you actually look at my NCAA mod, you'll notice that I changed the floors to FN00, SN00, and that's how I've, it, Stadium NCAA or Floor NCAA, that's how I made it so that the, um, the floors and the stadiums don't overwrite the NBA stadiums and you can have both mods installed at the same time. All I did was make sure you have to, to make sure you keep uh, the file the same file size. You can't change it, but if I so you can't change the name links or anything. But if I just delete here, type in an N. Oops, mm. I had insert on. Make sure you, right down here, you don't have overwrite on <laughs> if you're using this program. Um, oh boy, I screwed that up. Zero. There we go. <laughs> so you want to make sure you don't delete anything. I'm actually glad that happened so you can see that. I usually keep overwrite on just so I don't screw with things like that. So I can just click here, and if I type in, it will overwrite that zero. So now, if I were to save this and load up this roster by saving it, putting it in the main 2K13 folder, and then uh, doing reset roster in the game, the Heat's arena and uh, floor, instead of using the normal Heat arena and floor, it will actually go to this stadium in this floor file. Now. Uh, the, the be this isn't something that you want to distribute. Um, since this file is updated every time 2K does a roster update, um, it's difficult. So, I mean, this is, again, for the advanced editors, um, the people like me who are making total conversion mods. So, to get the game to use this file, you can either use Keep My Mod, um, which is, uh, you know, the easy way to do it, or you can do the difficult way of doing it like I do. Take any of these files in here, right-click one of them, go to Properties, and make it Read Only. Now, if you do that, I'm just going to change it back because I'm going to forget which one it was. But if you change that to Read Only, when the game starts up, it tries to delete all of these files, and when it can't um, is when uh, it will skip those files and not use them, and it will instead use whatever files you have in the main 2K13 folder. And, of course, in the main 2K13 uh, folder, here we go. We have the roster if file. So if it's not using the online data, you can have the file in here modified and not have to worry about 2K overwriting it. So, I mean, what are the practical things with this? Um, I don't know if you noticed in the NCAA mod, I wiped out all of the names. And as you can see, I went through a couple things with it not working. But if you look at the comparison of this file and go down, um, as you can see here, there's no names. Where is this? 
230 D4O. So if we go back to, let's go to my street one and load this up. Where was it? 230 D4O. I could have just done a jump command, I know. Okay, well sure, this is the basic area. These are all names that the game uses either for existing players or for generating new players in a, uh, in a dynasty, in association mode. So, as you can see in the NCAA roster, these are all blinked out. That's how all the players don't have any names at all, and that's how players that generate um, in the association mode aren't going to have any names either. And that's how these all are here. So let's say... Um, what's the easiest way to do it? Paul Pierce is one of a kind. He's the only one, he's the only Pierce in the league, I believe. So if I type in Pierce, click the Unicode uh, string, I, I did Control left to do a find. This will find Pierce. And as you can see, Paul Pierce right here. It's the only time it showed up, so he's the only one with that name. I can change his name, um, I don't know, what should I change Pierce's name to? Um, let's do the truth, okay? So, I have overwrite on, so I can go T, over, because you don't want to overwrite those uh, dots. U, or R, U, T, H. Now, right here, we have an E at the end, and we don't want that E to show up, but we can't change the file size, so we can't change the name, the, the uh, size of the names. Spacebar. Now, when if I were to save this, go into the game, reset the roster, and go find Paul Pierce, it would say Paul Truth. Or I could just go to his first name, which I'm assuming this is him, and go The Truth. Now, let's do something else. Let's see how many Pauls there are in here. Now, see, that's a problem. If you look, you see all the Pauls that are coming up for the results? Um... Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Anyone who's named Paul now is going to have the as their first name. So that is the downside of using this method to change names. And it doesn't really work for names. Um, if you're looking to do a roster with name changes, you might want to just wait for the Redditor because this will screw it up like that. You could try to make them created players and edit their names in-game, but uh, people have had issues with that, I guess, on the 360. So that's not the most reliable way to do it. Again, what this is very useful for is finding floor files, stadium files, and changing them so you can't have, um, they, they don't overwrite. That's how, like I said, my street mod, that's how the NCAA mod do not overwrite any files in the NBA. And I just urge anyone making a total conversion mod to keep that true because it's a pain in the ass to want to play a 2000 you know, retro mod and have to overwrite my current NBA for it or copy my entire you know, 10 gigs of folder again just to play in a mod. It's just much easier just to do this. Um, the other thing you can do is with uniforms. So let's say you want to do a complete overhaul of the uniforms and you want to change... Really? Oh yeah, because I'm in my street file. Alright, you win this time. In my street file, as you can see, I did street H, or SH000, instead of using the UH um, uniform home files. So that's how I changed it all, to have um, street uniforms instead of the default uniforms. Um, and as you can see, they're all listed here. These are all the uniforms that are in the roster file. They might be locked, they might be unlocked. Um, there's no way to really tell. But this is how I made it so I can have different things. Uh, have the roster use different files based on the roster you have loaded. Um, I know this is a little confusing. I hope I made it make sense. Um, I mean, just to try to sum it up, you have to go into that, you go to your saves folder, go up one, online data downloads. If you make one of these read-only, the game will not use these files, these updated 2K files. And that means you can take this roster file, plop it in your main folder, edit it to your content 
Um, and there are, these are all player files right here. This is all player data right here. Um, we have to decode it, try to figure out what it means. Um, just honestly let it, leave it up to the roster editors. I think this one right here, off the top of my head, is actually the t-shirt accessory. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that's one, that one, but, <laughs> you know, don't hold me to it. And there's team data in there, there's all this data in here, but really, to stick to going down here to the uniforms, edit the uniforms to what you want them to be, and, you know, I really think that is the easiest way to do it, um, to create not non-overwriting mods. Um, like I said, for the names, it's not that useful. Um, it is useful for renaming teams. So if, let's say, I want to rename the Celtics. Really? Oh, crap, because I'm in the... See, this is why I, I got to work on labeling. I don't know why I opened that. I need to work on labeling my things better. Um, October 10th. And, of course, that one's still compressed, so I can't edit it. It was here. <laughs> I really need to work on this. Okay, Celtics. Find the Celtics. There they are. That's Celtics Arena, so that's not the... If I change that to... Uh, I change it to TD Bank North Garden, <laughs> it wouldn't fit. But, you know, I could change it, and it would change how it appears in the game. This is the Celtics I want to change. Oh, my God. There we go. So if I change this... Let's say I changed uh, the Celtics to Vermont, like I did for the uh, NCAA mod. E R M, oh my god, O, N, T. There you go. Now it will say Vermont instead of Celtics in the game. Um, that can be the same for the Clippers. You know, this is how I changed them and kind of squeeze the NCAA names into the roster, putting spaces where I didn't have space for it or I didn't have too much space. So, I hope that was as confusing as <laughs> to you as it was for me. I hope it made some sense. Um, it's complicated. Really, the best advice I can give is just wait for the Red Editor. I know you guys hate me saying it, but that tool does so much for us. And, you know, this is good stuff for people who are advanced to editing to know how to do it. But really, just work on making uniforms, making the courts, and just stockpile them and wait for the Red Editor. And then all you have to do is just copy and paste in and use uh, Excel or whatever you want to edit those names. So that is that. I hope you uh, learned something, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.